Hey guys, the first day of the challenge was super exhausting, but it was super cool. I loved it. Okay, so where should I start? The first thing I wanted to do here is to actually have an idea of what I should do. <laughs> so, so yeah, I started by using one piece that I drew in my vector graphics editor. And yeah, the first four pieces were actually really cool to make. So I've grabbed a screenshot or a wallpaper from the internet so that I can have something beautiful to look at. I then converted my piece into an SVG, so an image containing vector data, and imported it in Blender. That way I can convert that SVG into a mesh. I can then add some depth to it for it to be a proper jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so that was the first piece. I imported that into Unity and started to see how I could apply the image to that piece. So here is what I originally thought of. I would add a material with a texture and I can play with the tiling and the offset of the texture to have the desired effect. But unfortunately, the UVs uh, were not configured <laughs> as uh, properly. So I had to bring it back to Blender and configure the UVs properly to be able to use them. And just like that, I had my first puzzle piece. Okay, so I now have a way that I can follow and an idea that seems correct in my opinion. So I added a second piece, rotated it, and it doesn't match. Come on. So does that mean that I will need one material per piece? Um, I don't know. I don't think I don't want actually, because that would be time consuming, like a lot. So what I decided to do here is to try and create a second piece just to try if I could use the same material and play a bit with the code to adapt the tiling and the offset. And as you can see, I spent too much time playing with the UVs. So that was that started to feel like a, a sloppy method. So it does work in this case if I have two pieces. So at this point, instead of adding multiple materials and multiple pieces, what I decided to do is to create a shader that would rotate the texture to adapt it to any piece. And of course, it should also allow me to play with the tiling and offset. So that's what I did. And seems like it's working really well in here. I added four pieces and hit play and boom. That was perfect. Awesome. But it's easy to play with four pieces. Now I need more. <laughs> How would I do that? Um, there are 28 pieces. Does it mean that I need to draw 28 pieces in Blender? Play with the UVs, check if they are working properly. Uh, this seems feasible, but ah, I want to make it procedural, as I told you in the previous video. Because that way, if I make the pieces manually, I won't be able to rotate or move the vertices as I want or have multiple knobs and holes, you know? It, they, are real, they will only be one type of holes or socket, and that's not really what I want here. But at least I tried using some Boolean modifiers in Blender, and it seems to work pretty well. But after playing uh, an online jigsaw puzzle game for half an hour, come on! I noticed that they are using really cool shaped pieces and I would love to be able to do that too. So I dropped the Blender option for now. I don't know if it's gonna be definitive, but I dropped it and I wanna make it procedural. So I looked for ways to create procedural meshes apart from the marching squares algorithm that I teach in one of my courses. And I stumbled upon the ear clipping algorithm and the Delaunay triangulation algorithm. These two seem like good options for our case here. So what I end up doing is asking ChatGPT for a script. He gave it to me. I tested it and it didn't work. So what I ended up doing is grabbing almost the same script from somewhere else. And this one worked pretty well for the first try at least. But when I tried to add a hole, uh, the mesh was kind of tricky, I guess, uh, not what I expected. But this is because I need to take into consideration the order of the vertices. This is really important here. After changing the order, it seems like it did work as expected. So I guess this is what I'm going to do from now. Just to be sure that this was the perfect fit, I tried with a manually placed hole right here. And then I decided to try another technique. Maybe I could draw the holes and the knobs in Blender and drop them in Unity. Uh, that could be a good option. So this is what I've done here. 
but Unity kept messing around the vertex order. So one thing that is important here is to prevent Unity for up from optimizing the mesh. Yeah, this is what caused me so much trouble, at least one hour or so of searching. But yeah, at the end of the day, I was able to use the model I've made in Blender to draw the hole, and I played around with another model. Worked well. And I can also use these for the knobs. So that's pretty awesome, huh? So yeah, that was it for today. I hope that tomorrow will be um, even better than today. It was actually a really productive day, come on. Uh, I didn't watch YouTube at least. Uh, I think I've watched only one YouTube video. So that's some, that's some cool progress here. I used to watch a lot. So yeah, I hope you liked it. And if you want to learn mobile game dev, don't forget to check tapsil.com. The January discount is still live. So yeah, have an amazing day and see you tomorrow.